Bow wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, bow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay. Boys, look at the Thailand, Thailand Roth. How are you guys doing? I really, really hope that the wind isn't catching this too much. I've got my, uh, my other camera out to try to stop the wind sound as much, but I wanted to tell you guys, whoo, what a couple of days it has been. I had to stop, thank you all. Thank you all for all the birthday presents and everything that you've sent. I had a birthday a little while, a little while back and it just continued on for a week and a half. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about some of the comments that you guys have left in the uh, in the videos that I made here. And I just wanted to share some some thoughts and insights that I've had about again the comments that you put and my reflection on some of that and what's happened. So one comment that struck me was it, it wasn't isolated to Thailand. It was it was uh, Southeast Asia, and a gentleman wrote. And the gentleman wrote that he was surprised that after three years of not visiting this place, that he could go back and everyone would remember his name, what he drank, where he stayed, taxi drivers. They, I don't know how, I don't know how the Southeast Asian people do it, but the Thai people can remember if, the memories are incredible. There's only been a few times that I've ever went somewhere and someone didn't remember me. More than likely, it was probably some place where there was a lot of alcohol that the girls were drinking or something like that. But as far as just normal restaurants and average, average, generally speaking, Thai people, and I guess according to my the comment, Vietnam as well, they've got some really, really good memories. I'll tell you another thing about Thai people, you've got really, really, really good eyesight. They can see you coming from a block away. So you, you don't get away with anything hiding down the road anywhere. They'll see you. They'll see you. Another thing this week that that uh, was brought to my attention, um, brothers and sisters. When, when, when you come to Thailand, you'll hear a lot of people say, oh, that's my brother or that's my sister. Uh, the Thai people say, she's my sister. And you won't know if it's truly a blood sister or a birth sister, family, family sister or not at first. I mean, you would have to really, really get to know the person before they were that on if they were just calling their friend a sister or if it's an actual biological sister. And I was taught that real quick that everyone calls me brother. All my close Thai friends call me brother, so I just now inherently call them sister. And so I had my birthday party. Then uh, some fr friends had their birthday party. And then my sister, which is the owner and wife of uh, the ownership of Danny's Place Restaurant, had her birthday, and she's the one I call sister all the time. She calls me brother, and she had a double. She had a. Uh, if, you're, if you've ever been over here and it strikes midnight, of course the party starts right then, and then it carries on to the next day. And unfortunately, I was there at midnight, and so the festivities started taking place then. And I was out for the count for the rest of this week. So today's my first day out, and I went to the post office to pick up another package. And uh, again, thank you for all the birthday gifts. Really appreciate all the stuff that you guys have been sending and giving me, and the, the birthday cakes and and the beers and and the shots. And that's that's why I had to stay home for a few days and just recoup. But on a calm Wednesday like today, well, moderately calm. I was gonna come down here and see Tiki at Tiki's Bar, but she's not here today. The bar next closed, the restaurant next closes. The restaurant next door is closed as well, so I don't I don't know what's going on, and the bank's closed today. So I, I didn't know that today was some form of, I don't know, I don't know what's going on today. I didn't, I didn't get the message that there was a holiday today, but the post office was open, but the bank wasn't, so not sure. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I just wanted to say hey and react to some of the comments that I got and I appreciate all the comments below. The old school th saying is, you know, please subscribe. Let me tell you another thing about subscribing and the thumbs up. A lot of people think thumb a lot of people think the thumbs up or down is just to say whether you like or dislike the video. Although that is true, that is not the only reason for the thumbs. For the algorithm of YouTube, subscribing 
tells YouTube that you were interested in more videos about this subject matter. Doesn't mean you're going to get a notice from YouTube every time I put a video out. You would have to actually click all notices and do that yourself. Subscribing tells YouTube that you're interested in Southeast Asia, Thai people, Thailand, or some crazy bald guy that walks around going to the post office on holidays. And the thumbs up and down is just if you approve this message or if you don't. So I hope you approve this message and leave a comment below and tell me how you are, where you're from, and what's going on. And I'll talk to you in the next one. All right, guys, have a good one. Thank you again. Bye. Oh. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Woody, Woody, don't forget that.